which asteroid is going to hit the earth in 3025 i'm not able to focus on it is one habit is holding you back is un Beatable. They are not lazy. However, what I think you don't know, the chemistry of your brain changes. Set yourself up for the day. Does it make sense? Does it? That is a luxury and we have to treat it like a luxury, not a lifestyle. We're sorry, the number... Hey guys, welcome back to the review. I have been doing very, very nice, and I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. In today's video, I'm going to help you understand how you can reduce your screen time, not just reducing your social media usage, but just screen time overall of your phone, of your laptop. And who am I to speak about this? I am no professional. I am only sharing my own experience with you guys. So please make sure that you're doing your own research on certain topic. But I did reduce my own screen time from like nine, ten hours a day to two to three hours a day it does go up to four hours or four and a half hours on some days but i think it is a good excuse because this is sort of my job and i need to work on my phone and my laptop this video in no way is going to tell you that oh, oh you, have to, you have to stop consuming, consuming content, content overall, overall and just, just read books or just do just this or do just this, do just that do however 10 hours 11 hours a day that is so not healthy it was not serving me last year i decided that i want to reduce my screen time i have been working on it i already have a video which is one of the most practical videos i have ever created by the way which you can watch for six useful tips that will help you to reduce your social media usage and read more but this video is about the overall usage of screen time what using so much screen is doing to you and obviously the solution to how you can get over it because i'm not just going to show you the problem and let you go i'm going to tell you how to fix it from what i have heard for most people the most amount of screen is used in the morning i wake up in the morning i pick up my phone because i want to see what mails I've got, what notifications I have, what comments I got for me. It may be different for you. And before you know it, you are scrolling down the rabbit hole. You have reached a video of how many universes are there and which asteroid is going to hit the earth in 3025 that may be a little extreme but yes we have all been there in a place where we are watching videos which has nothing to do with us that to first thing in the morning let me tell you everything negative that may be happening in your life because you choose to use your phone first thing in the morning number one you are filling your brain up with things which are completely unnecessary have nothing to do with your life is serving you in no way at all and not just not serving you it is harming you in ways you do not know no, because it is harming your subconscious mind you don't know there are two kinds of mind the subconscious mind and the conscious mind we are conscious throughout the day which helps us to make rational logical decisions take in information and then we have the storehouse which is the subconscious mind where everything that you have experienced through the day if you experience it on a daily basis it gets stored in your subconscious your subconscious mind is controlling almost 80 percent of your life when you wake up in the morning and before you go to sleep that state of of half drowsiness is where your subconscious mind is the most active which is why it is difficult to make decisions in the morning because your conscious mind is not awake yet when you pick up the phone first thing in the morning and you consume all of that content you are filling your subconscious mind with things which make no sense why they would be in your subconscious mind. Number two, you feel like you have woken up and been productive already. But the truth is there is a huge possibility that this one habit is holding you back from being productive the whole day. You are so recharged in the morning. You are full of energy after sleeping so well. Hopefully you sleep well and you wake up and you use all of that energy in consuming things which are not meant for you. And that energy is gone. Most of the people who are not able to do a lot in their day, they are not lazy they just don't have the energy because the phone or the laptop has taken all their energy number three because your conscious brain is still half asleep and your subconscious does not get to make decisions it is very very easy for you to just pick up the phone because doing anything else thinking about mm, what should i do today what should i achieve today what should i do next after waking up that's not your subconscious's job and it's not going to do it and so you pick up the easiest option and you use your phone is this enough to convince you that using your phone first thing in the morning is not healthy if yes let's move on to the solution and what is the best solution in the entire 
world to solve this problem a morning routine there are so many reasons why you should have a morning routine a morning routine which is tailored to you it should fit you but let me tell you having a morning routine is going to help you so much with your screen time you did not know it is possible number one when it comes to filling up your subconscious mind with shit that you don't really need in your life a morning routine can help you so much with it you can either add reading to your morning routine to consume good slow motivational inspirational content or you can add something creative to it like journaling oh yes affirmations journaling is like the best journaling ever because you're saying good things to yourself first thing in the morning and you're subconscious is getting filled with amazing things that will help you to live an intentional life number two when you have a morning routine you're being truly productive instead of giving all that stored up energy to the world first thing in the morning reacting responding you are here to use that energy to fill yourself up you're here to use that energy in taking care of yourself through your skincare routine through journaling if you exercise in the morning through exercising going for a walk you use that that energy to energize yourself even more and number three because our subconscious is ruling in the morning if you have a morning routine you don't have to make any decisions at all it is a routine a routine is meant for you to step back from making decisions do not use your brain too much make your life easy and still do things which are good for you so when you wake up in the morning and you know what you have to do and you don't have to make any decisions your brain won't just tell you oh go pick up the phone you can rely on your morning routine set yourself up for the day and have a beautiful day ahead we're sorry the number <laughs> <laughs>
background and you're doing something else are you using your laptop and your phone simultaneously are you just watching things for the sake of watching things and you're not even registering what is going on are you scrolling through your reels and you don't even know what you're scrolling through because you're just blank if these things are happening it is time that you get off the screen the best way is cold turkey just shut it off that is it. that noise just shut it off and it's going to be so good to be back into the silent world and once you're back into the silent world you can do things like meditation walking listening to music and one of the best things obviously reading these are slow forms of consuming content you are not bombarding your brain with a lot of information which means you're not bombarding your brain with a lot of dopamine slow and steady wins the race the dopamine that you get out of reading a good book the dopamine that you get after a good walk or exercise the dopamine you will get after listening to good music or meditating is un beatable it is humanly impossible to consume the amount of content you can consume through real from books is all of this reducing your screen time not giving your brain instant dopamine actually doing things that will give you good dopamine easy no is it difficult very much but is it worth it that is the one question that you have to ask that will define whether you're going to reduce your screen time or not for me as soon as i come down to a strong why as to why i want to do it i start doing those things without even thinking about it because it benefits me it's the benefits that we are working towards we do not develop a habit just because it is a good habit but because it's genuinely good for us personally therefore you have to talk to yourself and ask yourself is doing all of this so worth it what will the benefits be once you do start doing all of these things and don't just do it because i'm telling you to do it once i realized all of these things for myself and i realized i can have an actual life once i reduce my screen time i knew that i had to do this you guys is staying stuck to your screen having bare minimum of attention span and focus and finding your real life boring is not the best you can have there is just so much more out there that you can have you have you can have a bigger life you can have a deeper life you can have a meaningful life and it's all within your reach all you need to do is take this and put it down obviously we live in a world where social media and screen is one of the biggest parts of our life my job is literally on screen if you were not using the screen right now you wouldn't watch me and i don't want that which means it is completely unavoidable to completely restrict off of screen or not have a social media account however is it manageable definitely you can manage what you watch you can manage when you watch it and you can manage how it is affecting you using social media scrolling on reels or shorts or watching youtube videos i spend hours sometimes watching bookish youtube videos because it gives me comfort that is a luxury and we have to treat it like a luxury not a lifestyle and that is it you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope this video was helpful use it for yourself send it to someone who you think could reduce their screen time and i'll see you guys very very soon in the next video bye